Right then, people, another episode of Van Talk. I've just looked on my phone to check out for some topics to go through. Um, what are we on? We are on Tuesday, so this road here, there's a little village where I live. Um, they've set fire to a car under a bridge and it's, it's damaged all concrete on this bridge and it's caused like you won't understand the amount of trouble it's caused for this village this village little things like that setting for me it's, it's crazy isn't it with what's going off and that sort of things uh, up and down country although where I am where up in north south Yorkshire it does seem pretty to be one it will be worse that, that's that's the road block there so you've got these people th this road connects Barnsley see <laughs> things upside where someone's gone down this road connects Barnsley to Doncaster very busy road people having to travel to work going through what's kids there anyway that's just a little thing that's going on here what we want to talk about really today is side hustles in so uh in business uh a more so really a side hustle when you're into construction any sort of trade joiner sparky plumber landscaper bricklayer them sort of things ground worker nah it depends what you mean with a side hustle now we've got some we've got some properties rentals that we have um you might hear stuff about sort of passive income and, and like the age old thing where about houses like we've been taught with mum and like my my generation anyway. It's a bit different now because it's um there's a lot more information out about I suppose, but the the sort of thing where you get an out if you could get an house and you rent it you'd you'd be right. But as it comes now with interest rates, that just is not a thing anymore. They've totally ruined that. Uh, you can end up not even having an income. There's even people, quite a lot of people, you see house at Busser where they're having to put put money into it monthly as well to, to sort of sustain it. And these are like interest-only mortgages as well. You're not even paying out of. So that sort of thing's gone. But there's a lot of people that's got sort of things on. Uh, there's a Tyler, um, HH Tyler, and he's called on He's got a big Instagram. Um, and he's on Facebook. He's more so Instagram, but he he's a tiler, like a really good one. And he's got he's got like some. I think he started out doing blades, stuff like that, sourcing blades from wherever they've got his branding on. And he does like a few other bits and pieces. Uh, another one, it landscaping one that people might follow is Broad Landscapes. Now he's been working on this resin, this mitre resin thing for a long time. Um, but just when it comes to, it's funny because you, you see a lot of stuff about side hustles. Uh, and I suppose, let's say someone's got a nine to five office job. Now, that's, you can say like, I've got the eight hours at my day job and then you've got your evenings to work on these side hustles. Now, as you know, when you're a trade, tradesman, particularly if you're going to start a side hustle, you've probably got your own business. If you're like a one man band, you've got a business doing that. To put time into these sort of side businesses, you, you cannot find the time. I think that's what he's found, is he's like literally killing his sen with work, up till 12, 1 in the morning and stuff, working on this side business. And the thing is, is, difficult thing is, I suppose when you're starting businesses at one time, you, you could afford, you like, you invest your time, and no, it, it don't kick off properly straight away. Um, but thing is now, nah, these things are so expensive, like we know that you cannot even, you can't afford to put, you can't afford to go all in on summer and have no income, because that just, that's, things are too expensive, aren't they? You hear uh, a lot of big business that started, I don't know, one of, like the, the Lamborghini one, where, when he was making tractors, and they're like, that no to all, like, but it, I don't know, I suppose when he started that, there were, you yeah, the one living off, I don't know what, barely not, but can you imagine trying to start a company like Lamborghini now, like a brand new company? Do you see these brand new companies open and you don't? 
if you're well you're probably aware of that but you'll think a big brand new company that's setting up now like there's no chance no chance they've got a monopoly on things if you see companies the soon they either little branches are a bigger one or if they don't get anywhere a big one will just come and buy them because they'll not they'll not have it I've, like we know that's amazon's uh thing isn't it like um them bigger companies will just absorb others same with facebook any social media ones you'll go and you'll social a brand new one which you don't I mean, you're not telling me it's like impossible to start a social media thing, but if they got thing of that, they'd just they'd buy them. We'd offer the cap if you was for millions, and they just they just absorb them as well and close them down or whatever. And that's just how it's got. So the difficult thing now about starting these side hustles is finding the time to put into them. Um, and thing is, if you have got that's the awkward thing now if you've got a job that allows you to put that effort in because like if you've got a nine to a nine to five job and you you're a manager you're i don't know i'm not trying to think because it's not my world so i don't know a man a manager's position you were a farm and you were head of something it is a nine to five job but i, I bet you it in i bet you there's a lot more to it than that I've just realised I've got wrong fucking way again. I get talking on this camera. It's not letting me go that motorway, so I'm not, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to go back and down. I should have gone down that little road. Um, yeah, if you, like, even if you've got a nine to five, an I an I performance job, an I paying job, you, they're not just a nine to five. You will be getting things in the evening. You'll have to handle calls, and not just that. You'll be your mind's got to be in that job as well. I imagine at evenings you've got a one that's good enough. So catch twenty two is when you've got uh, an autopilot job that allows you to put your time and brain power into something else. It's probably more more chance than not not going to be very right well paying. So you've got that. <laughs> so you, you've got the fact you've got that and the fact that a biz a new business you're probably not going to make any money. It's going to cost you money for a while. So it's really awkward. It's really awkward, isn't it? Very hard to work, sort of thing. But obviously, we always been in con construction. The normal thing is, is property, isn't it? Now, it's all well and good, but you're not going to get twenty five percent deposits on whatever, an hundred grand. I mean, twenty five grand, and then you've got uh, you'll have to put all your legal stuff in. I mean, you, you, you probably do what this is like if you bought one and just rented it out. This is not, not, not even after have renovate it. So, you could be 50 grand to have an house and have an income that literally might make you about two or three hundred pounds a month or something, interest only. You're not even paying mortgage off, and then you're relying on capital growth, then, which is over time, as we know, houses go up in value in most areas. But then when it comes to that and you went to cash in on it, they'd tax you on that and all. <laughs> they'd tax you on that as long as it's been taxed all the way on your income and what you're getting for the house and your expenses from your house. You can't do all with that. So that sort of thing has really left. Now, um, a lot of people's dream, is it, into, is to build an house when you're trades. Now, that's, I mean, everybody knows what to use with building a house. You don't see many how many trades you don't see many people do it do you extremely expensive never mind what you've got to know like if you want to lend the money to, to be on a site you've got to have so many things like if you're not qualified yourself you'll have you they may want you to have a project manager in place and stuff like that um can you face and again you need some time to put into it so yeah it's a really strange and we know people are doing it but to be honest, in the, from what I know, the trades, it's not really a sector where it goes off because it's just so all encompassing, isn't it? When we work for ourselves, you're coming home, you're thinking about next day if you've got lads what to do. You might be working on some quotes, working on some social media. It's like, what do you, uh, what do you do? Like, how can you get on to the next thing uh, to try and better yourself? Yeah, it's a really, really difficult situation, isn't it, for that? Um, and as we know with trades, that'd all be well and good if we were really well paid, as as we say. 
um, the people think they're expensive and stuff like that, but if you want to work down your hourly rate and any costs and that, you, you won't want to know what it was. So it does seem a big thing going around at many side hustles, but I do think it's just not really applicable to us. Like, imagine if you if you start to work on summer, say you finished at four, you did your days where you want to finish at four. So summer would get, you'd have to get summer, knowing your main job, which is your income, you could well be working on summer, turn up on site and you're like, okay, hell, I forgot, I forgot this, I was doing that last night. That's a weird thing. Now these that are, I don't know, it's just getting in front, it's just breaking that mould to get in front, but the problem is, is that things are so expensive, mortgages, rent, food, everything's so expensive that you, can, you haven't even got like a bit of a grace period where you could make it work. That's what I think anyway. So you need these big return sort of investments and that, that they're just they're just not there, are they? Because they're all tied up and you need a you need a lot of, to buy in with a lot of money and and then ones the classics out and that they're just not they're not big return investments anymore. So it is it is difficult. But we'll keep doing it to we send up because we don't know any better. So yeah, that's another episode of Van Talk. Just a little thing on that. Same as always, like subscribe because it's really been it's been difficult the YouTube. It's took like a real hard turn with stuff. It don't seem to be doing anything anymore. I don't know what game is with YouTube whether they want you to pay or pay for ads, and that's why they're not showing it to anyone. Uh, but we'll keep hanging in there. So we're only a small business, but it's something, it's something that we like to do, isn't that? Uh, especially when we do get odd people talking and we know they watch it. Is, it is really nice, especially when they comment and stuff like that. Any thoughts? So, yeah, keep keep doing that. Take a bit of time out of your day because it really does go appreciated. It's not, we, we will read them and answer them and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, and don't forget to follow Facebook and Instagram page as well if you're on them. I would swear. Uh, yeah, so thanks a lot. And uh, have a good week. We'll see you later.